you own the DJI Mini 3 Pro, or indeed still thinking about buying one, there is an additional accessory you may well be thinking about buying. And that accessory is, of course, this. This is the Intelligent Flight Battery Plus from DJI. Now, this is a bit of a game changer because one of the major things all drone flyers want is, of course, increased time in the air. And this battery here from DJI offers to increase, obviously, in lab conditions, ideal conditions, I may add, to increase the standard flight time from 34 minutes with the standard battery up to a grand 47 minutes with this guy right here. But of course, it does come with a couple of points to note. First of all, this battery is not available everywhere in the world, in every region, but more to that in a second. Secondly, naturally, this isn't the cheapest accessory in the world, so you do have to factor in whether the cost is worth it to yourself. And thirdly, if you have bought the DJI Mini 3 Pro, as much as it is a fantastic piece of kit in its own right, if you are flying in a country which has restrictions, for drones over 250 grams this battery will push you over that limit because it does physically weigh more but of course i have been flying this drone with this battery uh, for a few days now so what i'm going to do is just tell you exactly what i found and what my thoughts are and you can decide for yourself whether you think this battery is perfect for this drone for you so let's get into it Now, if we look at the sides of them, they are pretty much the same. There is no differences there. However, what you will find if we can zoom in there is of course the standard battery does have that 249G stamped on it and that's because it will keep you under that weight limit whereas you can see there is nothing on this one because it will tip you over. Now there is a bit of a, a difference in weight between the two uh, as we already know. Don't get me wrong you're not going to need to be a bodybuilder to lift these guys. I'm not being so dramatic but yeah you can feel the difference and of course when you do push it in the back of the drone as well you will see that the drone does physically feel a little bit heavier. Sadly at this current moment in time due to various drone regulations occurring here in Europe, DJI will not actually ship these things to EU countries so they are only available outside of the EU. If you are in a European country and you try to buy one you are going to be met with this error message but of course where there's a will there is a way. So I just simply went to AliExpress um, and I actually purchased a Flymore kit Plus. Now, sadly, because I wanted this Fly Market Plus and the fact that they don't usually uh, ship to Europe, I did have to pay a bit of a premium, whereas a standard Fly Market is £160. I ended up paying £260, so an additional £100, but of course I got two batteries. And there has been many of you asking a simple question, is there was a suggestion uh, or a worry that DJI may geofence these batteries so basically where the drone knows uh, that it is in Europe rather than the US for example and would block the use of this plus battery and I am happy to tell you that is absolutely not the case these batteries do work absolutely fine so providing you are uh, happy to import them into your country um, and happy that you are uh, playing by all the rules and regulations because weirdly even though they're not selling them to the UK here in the UK we just fly our drones in a different class and it is absolutely no problem at all okay so I'm not entirely sure why they won't ship to the UK but that is certainly the case but yeah I can absolutely confirm as you can see uh, I am using the plus battery on this flight and you can even see uh, using airdata.com or airdataUAV.com that it does recognize that it is, is a DJI Mini 3 Pro plus battery and it is working absolutely fine so with all that boring stuff out the way what have I found these batteries to be like then and the biggest compliment I can give them is well pretty much while I was out flying with it I got bored if you that's such a thing yeah seriously bored this thing was up in the air that long during my testing using these batteries I managed to complete a flight distance um, 
on multiple occasions of over 8,000 metres. And this wasn't in windless conditions either. As we pop up the data from airdata.com, you can see we had some uh, sustained winds of 15 miles, miles per hour and gusts up to 24, 25 miles per hour as well. So it was facing and battling wind. Um, I managed to fly a full flight distance of over 8,000 metres and then I disappeared off, took some photos, did some quick shots, did some circles. Um, and then by the time I'd got all the way back to me after completing all of that, I still had 40%, well, 38% battery left. Absolutely incredible. These batteries just go on and on and on. I genuinely never thought that I would be in a position where I had completed all of my flying, all of my testing, and then just bought the drone back and thought, now what? Yeah, I still had loads of battery left to do other bits and pieces that I wanted to do. Absolutely, seriously impressive. And I would say that was a complete game changer, guys. Now, as a content creator, these factors such as battery life are absolutely paramount. When I'm trying to create content for my channel, I need to know that I can put this drone up in the air and have it up there for as long as possible. You see, even when I was doing what would be a relatively basic video uh, comparing uh, for drones that I did on my channel for picture quality, quality it wasn't just a case of uh, putting the drone up in the air then taking a few shots I had to perfect and make sure that every drone was in the exact same position at the same height which of course took some time so of course the intelligent flight battery plus which means I can be in the air longer would enable me to you know not have to worry about battery life when doing those sort of tests so overall for me as far as I'm concerned it is a massive thumbs up now I can't give you um, a price because of course it's going to depend on where you get them from uh, and of course it is up to you as an end user whether you think that it is worth it or not to yourself but for me personally I found them absolutely fantastic. If you do want to grab one from DJI, I will leave a link in the video description. Or of course, if you are in Europe, the best way you can get one is from AliExpress, I'm afraid. Uh, it might did take quite some time, but ultimately I found it's worth it. So yet yeah, to answer your question, they are a really, really good battery. And if you do import one into Europe, they do work absolutely fine and they are not geofenced in any way until next time thank you very much for watching don't forget hit that thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you're awesome until next time see you again soon